in discipline. Let, let me use an example that we can all relate with, all of us, each one of us here. Everyone who is an adult, at some point in your life, you have taken practical steps towards your physical well-being. That's a fact, all of us. And we all know something basic. How fit we are depends on two factors, diet and exercise. We all know it, period. But look at it this way. There is always a line between that knowledge and implementation of that knowledge. So if, for example, just to give you an example, if you want to lose, say, 10 pounds, and you continually focus on the 10 pounds, you will never lose the 10 pounds. But if you decide there is something I'm going to do today, and then I repeat the same behavior, let me get personal here. When I was younger, I could eat anything, anytime. Anything, anytime. As years increased, I realized I don't have that freedom anymore. So I will, I will give you a personal example because I want this message to be authentic. I take two meals a day. I used to take four meals a day. So when you see me here in church, just be sure I did not take breakfast. I don't take breakfast uh, when I'm preaching on Sunday. I'm not fasting for your information. It's, this is not fasting. This is a decision. So when we turned 40, Masse and I realized we have to change our eating behavior. So we eat twice a day. That's a decision we made. It was very difficult initially, especially for me. I could get so hungry, I feel like eating her literally. <laughs> now, every week, there are things I do about my exercise. Yesterday, Masse and I were walking Keneso Mountain. We did it again on Monday. And, and, and I mean, I mean we, we don't just go halfway. We go all the way. Now, doing that twice a week is not because we really like hiking. But we choose some habits because we want to have a certain body shape. We want to feel good. I want to say this. You definitely know. You know. The problem is not the knowledge about diet and exercise. It's taking a decision. You will not eat dinner after 6 o'clock. And you're not going to snack at night because your body is not able to digest if you're 40 and above. It's a decision you have to make. Will it be comfortable? Absolutely not. But then you have to choose either the weight, excess weight, or whether to be in a good body. Am I communicating? Yes. So I'm saying this, please, God's children, throughout this series, if you feel like I'm stepping on your toes, there is nothing personal. I literally want each one of us here to achieve our dreams. It is about our habits. What we do on a day-to-day -day basis, that's what we are able to control. It's difficult for all of us. I was very excited one day. I met one member of the church at Kennesaw Mountain. Uh, Liz, she's over there. Liz, you have no idea how I felt that day. And I said, I pray God that every member of this church can buy this idea. That we can actually control our habits, even though they are difficult. Eventually, it becomes your new normal. For example, it doesn't bother me not to take breakfast. And I'm not suggesting you don't take breakfast. I'm saying, whatever... You have agreed with your nutritionist, with your coaching expert. Whatever you have decided, I'm just saying stick to it. Not by focusing on one year. You will fail. Focus on today. The SI unit for life is today. And then repeat that day. We are what we repeatedly do. The reason people don't achieve dreams is not because they don't have dreams. No. It is about their daily habits. And the first one is discipline. Look at what the Bible says directly to you. Hebrews 12, 11. No discipline is enjoyable when it is happening. It is painful to jog in the morning, especially during winter. It is painful to refuse to take your dinner for your own health. It's painful. But afterward, there will be a peaceful harvest of right living. For those who are trained in this way. Discipline is not exciting when you're going through it. But the rewards are worth it. Number two, 